So good afternoon, ma'am. Today, me and Hazen Kalipayan will going to report to you about the chapter 7, which is balancing demand and productive capacity for quality service. First is, what is the learning objectives or what is the objective of this report? First is to understand the concept of demand. Second is be familiar with capacity constraints. Third is apply strategies on matching demand and capacity. Um, next is learning the benefits and the risk of yield management strategies. Next is to understand strategies for managing waiting lines when capacity and demand cannot be aligned. And lastly is to understand customers' perceptions about weights and weighing system. So to better understand what is our topic all about, first, let us define first what is demand, supply, and capacity. So in our previous lessons or in other subjects, we are already familiar with this three. Um, what is demand, supply, and capacity? So demand represents the amount of need of certain products or goods for the consumption of individuals or markets. So meaning, an demand, an shatunhiya, an amount or an like like pieces of products or needs nga gin a avail or gusto ig purchase han sa mga customers. Then the second one is supply. So, supply represents the amount of goods or products available for consumption in the market. So, and supply as yatunhiyaan mga products na were it aada na hausang kuan, usang business establishment na kuan na asyayaan ig, ig, ano ig, atun ig, hatag ha atun mga customers and mga available products. Then, the next one is the capacity. So, capacity refers to the ability of organization to provide or render services among their customers. So, ibig sabihin ang capacity as yatun an ability or an kaya han usang organization or establishments na ma-provide ha atun customers ang mga products or an services na kaya i-provide han usang business establishment. So, what is the content of this, of this topic? So, service organizations must consider the different factors that affect demand and capacity. These factors may result in conditions that pose challenges to managers in maintaining the productive operation of the company. Unfortunately, as discussed by Zet Mal, Bittner, and Wimler in their book, Services Marketing, 7th edition, at any given moment, a service organization may face e any of the following conditions. So, these are the following conditions. First is excess in demand. The demand for services far surpasses the maximum available capacity. The situation often leads to denying services to excess customer and losing the opportunity to gain profit. So, ha excess in demand, ginsisiring din hinga like for example, ito sa ka-business establishment, may danira supply or nag-stock kirahin in product. As ito nga product is damo ang nag-purchase na mga customers, gusto mag-avail na customers. Pero umabot ang time nga sobra na ang nag-a-avail ito nga product. Nga diri na kaya han ko an han o sa ka-business na ighatag kasi nag-out of stock na. So, itong hiya nga situation, magkukos ito hiya hin losing the opportunity to gain profit. Meaning, di rin makaka, kumbaga, ang, ang mga customers, ang mga, di ba, may da mga customers na mag-avail pa itong product. Hindi rin na yun makaka-avail since out of stock na. So, but mag, mag, magre-result itong hiya hin lose of gain profit. Kaya, di, what di rin man, nila makaka-purchase. So, di rin lang ka mo makakaarawat, makakakarawat hin profit or hin kita. So, the next one is demand exceeds optimum capacity. So, quality of experience in this situation is deteriorating. Customers can, can still be accommodated, but the place already feels crowded. There is dissatisfaction of the service rendered. 
So, ka demand exceeds optimum capacity. Ibig sabihin ni Nia, like for example, may na talaga ibang mga business establishment nga still na accommodate lagi ra, na lagi haperahin mga customers ha ira inside it ira business establishment. But then, may the situations nga diri na kaya hit, hito nga area or hito nga place ig, ig accommodate ito na mga customers. So, bagat as yun ito nga, ma-feel crowded or bagat duro na kadahuan customers na maglilidin dissatisfaction towards sa customers. Then, the next one is balance demand and supply at optimum capacity. So, this condition reflects the ideal situation for both organizations and customers. The facility is full capacity but as not strained. Employees are busy but not overworked. The customers receive good on time and no delays. So, ha balance demand and supply at optimum capacity. By the word balance, kumbaga, ha usa ka business establishment na balance nira and and customers or and itun nga itun nga supply na balance nira nga ini kaya ini ma kaya ma makuanan matagan ang usa ka customers kung magdiman ito hira nga nga kuan itun hira nga product so like for example damo ang customers na si an na siya nga the employees are busy but not overworked kung baga busy ito hira nga day pero diri an kagool goolan kasi balance man kasi balance ang customers tas balance ang kuan ang capacity ang kaya ma provide nanhin ang ang mga na avail ito nga product so the next one is managing demand Managing demand has always been one of the primary considerations of service organizations to maximize productivity. In order to manage fluctuating demand in a service business, it is must to understand the nature of demand, including demand patterns, reasons of fluctuations, and the market segments that create demand at any given point in time. So, we have here predictable cycles. So, predictable cycles refers to the periodic increase and decrease of demand levels at a specific time which may transpire at different intervals daily or may happen by hour, weekly or may happen by day, monthly or may happen by day or week, and or yearly may happen based on months or reasons. So, ini nga predictable cycles, like for example, may nakita sinisaring na hinika oras, damo ini it magdi-demand, like ha, it aton product, in demand dia ha, ha, morning time. So, bagat, may da nakita ideas na ito na ko, an hiton nga time, damo it magdi-demand. For example, gap hini nga month, like December, damo it mag, mag-avail hito nga, like for example, yan ay mga, Christmas lights, Christmas trees, tapos mag-new year, nag-ihapit mga fruits. So, predictable. Itong pala, maaram na kita nga damo it magdi-demand ito nga specific product. So, the next one is random demand fluctuations. Contrary to the first condition, sometimes demand appears to be random. There is no predictable cycle that could be de derived. Even so, the cause of demand can still be identified. Like, for example, in like for example, hindi nga random demand fluctuations, fluctuations. Igukanta na lang may da ibang nga situations or oo, situations nga unpredictable. Diri kita maaram nga hito nga day, diri damo it maong didemand. Like for example, mauran. Tapos it yung product, koan, au, o, like nagbabaliya kahin matugnaw. So hito pala nga, hito nga day, diri damo it magkukuan, diri damo it mag ma-avail ito nga imo product. Tapos diri kalot maaram nga mauran ito nga day. So unpredictable ito niya. Then, the next one is demand patterns by market segment. A service organization that has thorough knowledge about its customers may be able to come up a strategy in order to cater more appropriately to its customers. With the analysis of the profile of an organization's customer, it may be able to identify patterns of demand, whether it is predictable or random. 
Like for example, hindi nga demand patterns by market segment. May nakita mga customers na kilala na natin. At ito hiraan mga customers na kuan. Ano tawag ito? Value, value cost, valued customers or ang mga customers nga kuan. Mostly nag na-avail han atong product. So, since kilala na natin hira, maaram na kita hit atong makakag-come up na kita hit strategy nga diri hira makukuan, diri nira ig bagat mari remain it era ka loyal hit atong hito na establishments. Then, so there are several basic approaches to management of demand. First is take no action and leave demand to find its own levels. Second one is Reduce demand during peak periods. Third is increase demand during low periods. Next one is inventory demand using a queuing system. Then the last one is inventory demand using a reservation system. So these approaches are options that guide an organization to improve its strategies to maximize profitability. So my daddy depart when answering a reduced demand during peak periods and then increased demand during low periods. So, how ano igre reduce ang demand during peak periods? Because may dagat si ni siring na koan na it mga prices is naga high. So dery tanan nga koan nga nga customers is makakag makaka avail or makakag purchase ito nga products. And then, the increase demand during low periods, amo na yun mga product na affordable, low prices, na kaya nga, na kaya na ma-purchase ma han mga customers. So, the next one is molding demand patterns through marketing mix elements. Organizations of, often approach management of demand based on what fits their style and resources. The freedom to choose and the diversity of choices to demand management has led organizations to be creative and resourceful. Many organizations utilize the elements of marketing mix as tools to manage demand since it directly affects the customers. So, how molding demand patterns through marketing mix? Asha ini ang sinisiring na how sa ka organizations mag-provide rahim product na kaan na na-fit ka-era style. Ngayon, kung ano't may dahira, like, kung ano't may the resources na may dahira. So, as siya tunit era, ig, ig, bagat, ig, business para ka-era customers. Ngayon, of course, before hira magkuhan ito, mag, ano, 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 hira nga, kung magiging, ano ba ini, magiging, magiging patok ba ini, ha-era customers, kung ano't era target customers. So, ganyan ito. So, there are elements of marketing mix. The first one is use price and non-monetary cost to manage demand. The use of pricing is one of the most utilized ways of balancing supply and demand. Changes in price has an immediate and direct effect on the decision-making process of customers. Non-monetary cost involve customers' decisions as to choosing convenience and preferences in availing um, services. So, of course, kung sa talaga nga nakaka-apekto hit pag pag avail or pag purchase ito sa mga customers it price so kung magchange it price may dahil ito yung direct effect ha customers ta sa iyo gihap kan ha iyo gihap organizations kaya kung like for example tigda magmahalan o sa ka product so dire man tanan ng customers makakag purchase ito nga product so may dagat pito effect ha iyo establishment ngayon ha customers gihap kaya dire nira mapapalit bisan gusto nira so So, non-monetary cost involve customer decision as to choosing convenience of preferences in availing services. Ibig sabihin, it customers may dahira rights. Kung diri nira kaya ma-availity mo product, may dahira rights nga diri umalit ito. Mas mapalitirahin, mas convenient or mas kaya nira ma-purchase. Nga bagat complement ba complementary ito nga product. The second one is change product elements. There are services organizations that offer products that even any amount service products needs to be introduced. The objective is to encourage the same set of customers to find new other segments or to cater to both. So, I change product elements. Um, like for example, ikaw na business owner, 
gusto ni mo mag mag introduce in usa ka in another product. So ito nga another product, i-introduce mo ito ha imo kan, ha imo customers. Um same set of customers or may da pa ibang customers. Nga mag-avail ito nga imo product. I- ito na imo new product, kanin na imo dati nga product. And then third is modify place and time of delivery. For services that are continuously offered at specified time and place, service, orga- service organizations can capitalize the market needs by adjusting the time and place of delivery. So, may day ni duha. Vary the times when the service is available. Service may be adjusted on schedule, schedules where market segments can most likely avail of the services. So, asya ini ni kuan and kung baga, kikita ni mo with time, kundi in baga, ito nga time, it service ni your product ni you is, baga, in demand. Then, the next one is, offer the service to customers at a new location. Visibility is the key to, to success of some businesses. Service, organization, ser, service organizations can choose to mobile and locate at different places at different times. Ibig, sabi, ibig sabihin, visibility is the key to success. Kung it iyo, it iyo business is damot maaram or visible, nakikita. Ibig sabihin, damo it ma-avail ito nga product or kuan. Ito ba nga nga, kung maaram it mga tao about ito nga imo business, magkaka-interest nga nga i-avail ito nga imo business. Then, the fourth one of... Ele- the fourth element of marketing mixed is promotion and education. Organizations can always use the multimedia to inform its clients about its operations, innovations, and changes through advertising, publicity, or sales promotion. A strong communication effort may help managing demand even if the other elements of the marketing mix are constant. Importante talaga it ko an it it pag promote hit aton product so ini nga promotion and education kuan bagat ada ini mas ako bit imo strategy kung paano mo ig ig advertise kung paano mo ipapakilala it imo product sa imo customers para ma-avail nira imo ito nga imo product so the next one is may dagat sa sinisingit nga managing capacity among many organizations across different industries, service capacity is fixed. Fixed capacity can be due to different factors depending on the type of service that, that, that an organization provides. These factors may include time, labor, equipment, facilities, or a combination of this. So, among several organizations, the primary constraints on service production is time. If the period of work of an employee is not used productively because of some reasons, then profits are lost. So, diba? Like, for example, may the mga employee nga, kuan nga, di rin nira yung gagamit, hin, hin, but di rin nira na utilize it era time, pag doon ito nga era task or job. So, mag, kukos ito hin, profit lost, hay yung business. Kasi, syempre, time is gold. Kumbaga, importante nga, kailangan ni mo isipon nga, ini nga time, bagat may naka time frame. Ini nga time, kailangan ko mahimu ini. Ini nga time, kailangan ko maka, maka, makagaya din suga din. Eh. Bagat suga dito. Then, some other cases, consider equipment as a critical constraint. Service organization that are dependent on their mas- machineries to render their service may consider the capacity of those machineries as their limitation. Equipment, nasa kubgap ini it, Amo nito na mga machineries. Like, for example, may da mga machineries nga, kuan, nga limited laha iyo. So, magiging sagabal gap imihiya pag kuan, ha iyo business, ha iyo sa nga business. Many other organizations are limited by the facilities that they can provide. Service organizations like hotels can only sell a certain number of rooms. Spas are limited to the number of bath areas. And restaurants are restricted to the number of table and seats available. So, facilities may na talaga limited. Ito ba nga nga diri kaya maka-accommodate hindi mga customers. So, magiging usagyap iniya nga constraint na kailangan i-consider natin ha pag-manage capacity. To maximize 
the understanding, the concept of capacity, it is imperative to learn the difference between optimal and maximum use of capacity. So when we say optimal capacity, optimal capacity would mean that the resources of a service organization are fully utilized by the overuse. And more importantly, customers still receive quality and prompt service. Then maximum capacity, on the other hand, refers to the conditions where the total limit of service is fully utilized. The maximum use of capacity may result in excessive waiting by customers leading to customers' dissatisfaction. So, how optimal capacity kaya pa, like kaya ma-accommodate an kadamuhan po an han customers. Kung bago na ba balance ni mo ang kadamuhan customers ng han imo supply. Tapos sa maximum capacity liwat ko an na utilize man ni mo an imo service an imo product. But then, han kadamuhan customers nagko-cost inihiyahin customer dissatisfaction especially kung grabe ti ra pagkinulat. Then stretching capacity level, levels. Capacity levels of some organizations can be considered as elastic when it comes to accommodating more demands. For example, bars can offer seats for around 50 People and allow standing room for thirty with enough space for all. So stretching capacity demands. Ibig sabihin, how sa kakuan, how sa establishment, ulo o sa kaka area, kaya niyo maka maadjust ito ng space. Like sering pa dide, bars can offer seats for fifty for around fifty people. Pero aside dito nga na nanlilingkod, may dapat po di pagyapia maka kuanin mga tao nga tuk daw la like ito nga 30 so asya to stretching capacity levels bagat pag adjust or pag para maka accommodate pa hin more customers pero diri nagkukosin crowded kasi na ma-manage man man ang kadamo then aligning demand and capacity matching capacity and demand may be accomplished through the following strategies level the fluctuations of demand by modifying demand to match The existing capacity or adjust capacity according to demand fluctuations. Aligning demand and capacity. Ibig sabihin, an kadamuhan imo, an kadamuhan mag mag aavail ito ng padak ng han capacity han iyo establishments na ma-provide ito ng iyo padak. So. So the next one is strategies in modifying to match existing capacity. This general strategy aims to reduce excess customers beyond the capacity of the organizations during peak times to influence them to use the service during off-peak time instead. The following methods can be considered when trying to match the demand with the existing capacity. First is communicate with customers. Service organizations can create and maintain communications with customers to inform them of the peak periods and to sway them to use the service at other times for them to avoid crowding, delays, and long wait long waiting time. So communicate with customers. Dapat ka mga business or service organizations gin ano niyo gin ko communicate niyo ay yung customers it ko an it kon anot gusto niyo or ano't gusto niyo nga i-avail nira, or saan o niyo gusto i-avail nira, nga maano na tira, ma, bagat ma-attract niyo, or bagat makukuha niyo it ira ko, ano, ini-avail ini during, di rin haya peak season, kay amunit maupay, like ma-avoid niyo at crowding, it delays, tapos it waiting time niyo, so, mo pa talaga it communicate with customers kay nakakagwag gyapit niyan relationship between you and your customers then the second one is modify timing and location of service delivery so organizations may choose to adjust their operation time to cater to market segments to disperse crowding others locate in strategic areas or offer online transaction to accommodate customers whenever and wherever they are so di ba hapanahon niya na kwan us au oh, hapanahon niya na kwan na talaga upgraded na kit kit tanan or not tanan but mostly like di ba it ibang mga things or it ibang mga bagay na bubuhat na naton online so mo pay gap niya kay through online makakag maavoid naton it kwan it hassle 
itasel bang magkinadtuon tahin buhaton ini personally na makakakos liwat hin kuan hin time makakakos hin kuan hin time so asya talaga ito then the third one is offer incentives for peak usage for off peak usage special di Discounts, promo packages, or freebies may be offered to customers who will use the service during off-peak periods. So, offer incentives. Mo pa talaga iniya. Kaya kung gusto niyo, if your customers mag-availit yung product during off-peak. So, kung mag-offer ka mo incentives, like, may the piso deals. Kung mag-offer ka mo ito na era, maingan yung era nga i-availit yung product during off-peak season. Then, the next one is set priorities. Service organizations may choose to prioritize frequent and loyal customers during peak times. This somehow guarantees a continued patronage to your organizations. So, di ba may nanakita sinisiling na VIP customers or mga loyal customers na dati pa nag-aabilhan na itong product. So, ito hindi da. Amo ito rin. So, since naging kukuha ni UAT yung customers na mag-avail it yung product during off-peak usage, tapos may dalot iba nga na-avail lagi at peak-peak time, so during peak season. So, as I don't know, ito yung ipaprioritize ng Dida is ang mga customers na dati pa na-avail ano yung mga loyal customers. Then, the next one is charge full price. Service organizations may opt to charge the full amount of customers during peak periods and not allow the use of discount cards or coupons. Kay na increase mang godit ko an it it price pag peak season. Asa ito nga it iba talaga for it organizations service organizations mas gimpi prepare ni ra nga customers magbayad fully. Instead nga mag-conhin discounts or gamito ng era, an era coupons. So, there are strategies in adjusting capacity to meet demand. The objective of this second strategy is to adjust the capacity of a service organization in order to match supply and demand. Shifting capacity involves expanding the organization's ability to meet customers' needs during peak periods and minimizing capacity during downtime. To minimize cost of wasting resources, the following are some schemes that can be considered and adopted. So the first one is increase capacity temporarily. Capacities can be temporarily expanded to meet the demand. Expanding capacities need not to equate to to inducing new resources, but instead employees or employees or staff facilities and equipment will be programmed. Are required to work for longer and harder to sustain demand. So, bagat haku an iga ano niyo kan capacity an kaya niyo iko an an kaya niyo ma provide ha iyo ko an ha iyo customers iko ko niyo temporarily igi expand niyo para mamit niyo an 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 iyo an customers demand. So, ha increase demand may da. Since they extend people, facilities, and equipment temporarily, for instances that there is a strong level of demand, services may be extended temporarily. It may be possible to extend the hours of service temporarily, temporarily to accommodate demand. So then he, kung damot nagdidemand, ito nga iyo service or product, sure. Sinisiring temporarily, extended temporarily, di rin ito permanent. So, ito di da nga time, i-extend niyo ang iyan capacity or ang an time, time period ang iyo ko ang service. Para maka-accommodate ka mo han, han, iyo, han, han demand, han customers demand. Then, use part-time employees. Service organizations usually call out additional workforce from their on-call list of staff to supplement labor during the peak of the demand. So, I use part-time employees, diba? Peak, peak season, peak of demand. Ha, summer, damo talaga it. Damo talaga it, customers. Da, grabe damot katawo. So, di rin man kaya liwatan niyo mo mga permanent employee or mga, mga employee na talaga nga di rin part-time. So, kung damo na katawo, kailangan mo talaga tumawag or umaruhin bulig hani mo mga part-time employees para gap diri diri makakosin like 
kuan duman yung magkakalisangan imo ani mo mga employees kay kulang hira so kung kun patrabaho on man imo mga part-time employees maka maaccommodate ta na nan imo ani mo customers smoothly then the next one is cross train employees employees may be trained with multiple skills in order to make them perform tasks where they are most needed This would also address work issues where staff are underutilized in certain departments while others are overworked. So cross train employees. May da ako an, may da ibang mga aton employees na kailangan talaga natin ig train ha ibang mga trabaho on. Diri kay hitun lang at trabaho on. Kasi para like for example, diri kasi permanent ngan imo dating ng mga on imo mga nagtatrabaho ni ng specific task is kuan always sira ada may da talaga ibang nga situation nga like what if magkasakit hira or wara hira dida or grabe na talaga overwork na hira so kung matrain ni mo ang ibang ni mga customer sa ibang mga trabaho on i-train mo hira hindi nga trabaho on bagat kaya nira kaya ma-alternate or kaya nira buhat on what diri ka mawawara yan hintawo then outsource activities Service organizations that are experiencing temporary, temporary peak in demand for internal service operations such as information technology, finance, or human resources may just choose to outsource the service instead of hiring and training new employees for a temporary position. Temporary position. Ibig sabihin ko an kaya ano ka pang mag-hire hin hin bago na employees or mag-train ka hin new employees kung may dakan naman bakit temporary lang ito nga kuan ito nga ito nga service or ito nga ito nga time nga damot magdi-demand so kun hinot ada na hinot ada ha imo ha imo organization nga daan bakit amot ah, imo igko kuan ig papa papa ko ano hito nga task ka. so like for example ha internal service operation information technology, finance, or human resources. Then, rent for share. Next is rent or share facilities and equipment. During the temporary peak periods, organizations may decide to rent equipment and facilities in, instead of procuring new ones. Di naman, permi-permi peak season. So, sometimes man lay to provide a specific na month. So, kamo, ma-rent la kamo or ma-share facilities and equipment kay kuan man gihap diri man permanent eh. so asa talaga ito then the second one is a just use of resources also known as chase demand a strategy it aims to modify service resources to go after the demand curve in order to match capacity with demand patterns still the focus would be on people facilities and equipment in relation to adjusting the base the basic mix and use of these resources a just use of resources kumbaga ang paggamit han mga gagamiton ito nga iyo specific ito nga iyo business as a asya ito so may dagit ta sinising ha just use of resources may that the schedule downtime during periods of low demand operations may be downgraded during off peak periods to provide opportunity for people equipment and facilities to recover and not waste resources Then the second one is perform maintenance and renovations. Repair, maintenance work, and renovations may be done during low demand period. So di ba diri man ito kwan diri man damo it magkuwan it magdi demand low demand period. So may time kamo pag kuan pag pag repair pag ayos han iyo kuan han business establishment kay diri man kam makakakos in destruction na iba ng customers. Then schedule vacations and employee training strategically to ensure that the employees are at their best whenever they are asked to perform. They need to be proper, properly rested and trained. Vacation leaves and trainings may be scheduled during off peak times. Di ba ko an? May dasin yun sering na ini vacation leave ini hit ko an hit aton hit aton employees. Sure, ito taga naton hira hin time to breathe. Kaya para gap may gan na hira. Pagtrabaho it aton hit hit hitong ha iyo business during off peak times 
kundi ninguti ay laan customers. The next one is modify or move facilities and equipment. Adjustments to facilities and equipment during slow demand period should be done similar to adjustment being made during peak season. In this way, the organization need to put too much strain to its equipments and facilities, hastening their deterioration. Adjustment to facilities and equipment during slow demand. Propanus na ini, kuan, re-repair. Magre-repair kahit iyo, kuan, hit iyo, business establishment. So, i-adjust mo, i-mong modify mo, i-mong move mo, ano yung facilities and equipment para mag-aturo haluag. Kundi in, do they learn customers. Then, encourage customers to perform self-service. Limited capacities can be reduced when customers learn to perform their task without having employees attend to them most of, most of the time. Self-service facilities and technologies may augment the labor force in providing services to customers. So like, example na nini ha, makdo. Diba, makdo may the self-service. Um, kung ready na ni, an ira order, makadun na lahira. Tapos may da sinisigan by the help of technologies and may da nga nga to inoorderan tapos kamo na lang magpipikit iyo iti iyo orderan so makakabulig iniha iyo para diri niyo kailangan ni damudamuan ng employees para magperform iti iyo iti iyo business the next one is ask customers to share customers can be given options to share the services they are availing of transport network vehicles may offer ride sharing schemes to people who are going on the same directions for a reduced rate of fee So, ini nga, ask customers to share. Nung nag-avail na hindi dahil ito nga ay yung product, kuan, gusto niyo yung feedback nira. Ay siya ito. Then, create flexible capacity. Organizations sometimes design their services to cater to specific segments of the market. Organizations may design facilities that can be easily modified in order to, create, to cater to broader types of market. Flexible capacity. Bagat kuan. Ito ba nga nga, bisan na mo na demand since flexible man ka mo. Para makag-cater ka mo hin, kuan. Hin, customers na dirilot ka mo magkakalisang or diri ka mo maa-out of stock. Next is the increased demand to match capacity. So there are approaches, approaches, sorry, in matching capacity and demand that are focused on increasing demand during conditions where demand for service is low. So we have here the following to be considered uh, in, with the aforementioned situation. First is educate customers. So during these periods, low demand, during periods, low demand organizations may inform customers about the availability of their services. Further advertising and promo materials may encourage and inform customers of the advantages when availing of their services at this time. So it is important for you to always inform your customers. Next is um, convert how the facility is used. So some organizations may opt to offer their facilities to be used for different purposes depending on the season of the year. So for example, at uh, Amon Drug Symposium Yana, we've rented a venue. Ito na, ini na venue actually for ano niya, a bar talaga ini. Pero since na baga diri good damo it era diri good demand yan na iton nga nga era pakabuhi nga bar so na accept rahin uh, venue for like birthdays meetings and bisan ano nga events the next is modify the service offering service organization may modify the process of how they deliver their services to increase demand Uh, pare, uh, for example, spa and massage parlors can offer home services for customers who do not want to leave their homes. The next is differentiate on price. 
So most organizations offer discounted or promo packages during slow seasons. Just like resorts and hotels in summer destinations offer discounted fees for groups, families, or pairs who will book during the rainy season. Usahay gihapon para si itong mga airlines na kakaaneran mga promo na binakon rainy season. So next is productive service capacity. So productive service capacity denotes resources or assets that organization utilized to manufacture goods and to render services. For service-oriented organizations, productive capacity can be in the form of equipment, facilities, infrastructure, and labor. So first, in the line is equipment. Equipment is an important element of capacity since it is used during the process of rendering service. So this equipment facilitate the process in order to provide the best and most immediate services to customers. So without equipments, of course, it wouldn't be possible. Next is facilities. Facilities are resources that pertain to handling of customers and provisions to store or process goods and services. They usually pertain to buildings, structures, or premises where customer avail of their of the products. So, uh, in other words, facilities is a place, a venue, just like that. Ano ba? Next is the uh, infrastructure. Infrastructure refers to public and private structures essential to deliver quality service, customer. So it may include include such as roadways, uh, bridges, ports, terminals, and other public utilities. Next is labor. So of course, labor refers to human elements that manipulate the process and deliver the goods and services required by the customers. Next is the yield management. So yield management is also known as the revenue management. Organiza uh, organizations use this method to find the best combination among price, customer, and capacity used. So the objective of yield management is to produce the best possible return from a limited available capacity. So with yield management, um, it is the best tool to match demand and supply, but of course it has its risk which are the following so first is loss of competitive focus organizations that are so fo focused of profit maximization may carelessly forget the facets the facets of service that provide long-term competitive success so next is another uh, risk is the customer alienation. So multiple price structures may create confusion and doesn't, doesn't among customers and may perceive it as unfair. So for this, siguro ito nga o saka ano, may bayabayaran presyo. So ganyan una, dito ang iba nga customer. Uh, mahal tapos didi nagbarato lewatera so unfair itong talaga next is overbooking disenfranchisement may be felt by customers who will be affected overbooking practices used by yield management systems so we need just like the loss of competitive focus sigilat era pangarawat pangarawat magbook but an era service isn't enough anymore then Next is incompatible incentive and reward systems. So complaints and resentment may happen when employees feel like the incentive structure do not match their effort. So for this, ito nga signon ta um, na ano na inin ano pa tumi ito ito nga ano ba ito? So for this, parehas ito mga nag-overtime. Usahin, nahihimo na lang nga offer time. 
uh, an era hard work hard work doesn't pay off pays off anymore next is inappropriate organization of the yield management function some organizations may have difficulty complying with the requirements of the yield management methods to operate effectively Next is waiting lines and queuing systems. So waiting is a phenomenon that happens everywhere, also known as queuing. Queuing may happen whenever a system to process a transaction is exceeded by the number of influx of dealings. Queries are manifestations, manifestation of surplus of requirements over the capacity to transact. So there are different, uh, different strategies that organizations may consider. First in the line is, is the audit, audit the operational process. The organization should study the operational process to pinpoint the possible causes of QAE. Any part of the process may reorganize to design to eliminate lines and facilitate movement. Next is institute a reservation process. In here, option in here for service organizations para ma-avoid and waiting lines. Uh, by using the reservation system, this would allow the customers to choose any available time they intend to arrive in the company. Then next is differentiate waiting customers. So service organizations who would have waiting lines usually come up with policies to prioritize customer based on needs or profiles. Baganian first come, first serve. Um, there are also other factors or rules that may apply depending on company policy. So we have here the following that a basis that are the basis of differenti differentiating customers. Uh, first is we have the importance of the customer. Of course, some organizations may have frequent customers availing of the company services regularly or sometimes customers who spend large amounts with the organization, also referred or preferred as clients, can be given priority in service by providing them with a special waiting area or separate lines. Uh, para si ito, mga, may nakita sinisiring uh, senior, uh, senior citizen lane and pregnancy lane. So, ganito. Next is the urgency of the job. So customers who require more pressing needs may be served first. Often this applies to institutions that provide for medical needs or security concerns. Customers who require more pressing needs by ser may be served first. Siguro ini para sa niya at least WD. Uh, ang mga mayada nahihinanglan na, na aron assistance for medical so or financial. Para, I mean, ang biikat, pakikat ako ha. Example for this is, kung sugan makatuka, this WD. Marukan financial or medical assistance. Pero dito ha, waiting line. I mean, ha, service nera. Mas ginuuna nera ito. Mga, mga, ano tawag ito, era? Ito mga nanginginahang lanhin. Kung baga magawas na, magawas na from the hospital, amot era mas gain pra prioritize. Next is duration of a service transaction. Services may be differentiated on the basis of length of service required. If upon diagnosis it was determined that it requires short service, then the customer may be referred to express lanes for immediate disposal. So, in a duration of the service transaction, amin yet. Referred as express lanes. Next is payment of a premium price. Some service organizations have special accommodations to customers who pay extra. Customers in this category are often given priority, such as separate check-in lines or express systems for airline passengers, fast pass 
for theme park goers or VIP lounge for preferred clients. In a payment of a premium price, uh, this is for the VIP persons. Because, syempre, nahatag na, na, maybe I can't explain it, pero ano lang tayo They pay extra, kumbaga, and mga premium. That's why they are given, uh, mga, bagat importante, gaya pinihirang ako, an? Priority. Oh, priority. Mga priority nga ra. Di ano, ni number four? Or number four ano? Some organizations may So another strategy is making waiting more pleasurable. Customers who are waiting may still be satisfied depending on how they will be attended by the service organization. Reducing the waiting time of customers requires a multi-dimensional approach. Service organization may consider other approaches such as revalidating the queuing system, including configuration and with, with options. Next is fitting the queuing system according to market segments. So this needs or urgency price or importance of the customer. Then managing customer's behavior and their perceptions of the wait. Inihiyalot ang mga making the time more pleasurable. Then, installing a reservation system or booking up or appointments to distribute demand and redesigning service process to shorten transaction time. We, uh, we also have different types of queries. First is single line or sequential stages. In this system, customers pass through several serving operations or segments, as in a buffet line. Bottlenecks may happen in any segment where it would take longer to undertake than the previous segment. Example for this is Hadith WD. Didn't many establishment, but sugad ya I he attack ig sa sample. Kumaro kan assistant sugad talaga to era dito sistema. Next is parallel lines to multiple servers. This applies to establishments that cater to a big number of people at any given time. The next is single line to multiple servers. This is also known as snake. In contrast to parallel lines to multiple service system, issues about line speed movements are addressed. Example for this is um, the anatomy? PSA. PSA. Next is the designated lines. This system segregates lines for different customers based on specific categories. Uh, immigration, per immigration personnel designated lanes for diplomatic passport holders, foreign passport holders, residents over Filipino workers, or association of Southeast Asian ASEAN countries. So, iba iba lang itong era lane kada usap. Next is, take a number. Upon entry liwat in the establishment, customers are provided with numbers from an automated counter. Example for this is, Lieko. Upon entry, tatagan ka ng number. Lieko, LMWD. Next is, waiting list. Food service establishments usually use this type of paying system where customers are requested to prove their na names along with the size of their group. So, example for this is Macdo. Then, in a waiting list, may danera sinisirin nga party size seating. So, in a party size seating, customers now wait until a table that matches the number of people in the company is available. So, kung sumulod ka mo nga 6 ka mo katawo, of course, you have to wait until may mabakante nga table nga pan 6 liwat katawo. Then, may dagap kita sinisirin nga VIP seating. So, in here, napaboro ni here at mga customers that are given priority slots and special rights. Just like in, ano itong nga bit? Dini federal bar. May dito nila sinisiring nga VIP sitting. So, ito nga VIP sitting, uh, air-conditioned room ito hiya, ngahin at uh, tinted it iyo room, ki, pero ki, nakikita niyo agawas kung ano't nananabo. 
Then, may dagap kita sinisiri nga call ahead sitting. Customers call the restaurant before the arrival to hold seats for the customers. Amo na ini nasulod just up example for this ito nagre reserve Canada and bago ka mo komatuhan iyo kagatuan. Then, may dagap pun kita large party reservations. Customers that are require a significant number of seats and tables or a fraction of the guest area are compelled to make arrangement prior to arrival. Para si to hito, may dani yung a meeting ino sa ka restaurant. So prior pa han arrival, nagtawag na kamo to reserve a space or area para han iyo said meeting. So we also have a psychology of waiting time. We have here the following: how people perceived waiting time at different conditions. First, in the list is unoccupied time feels longer than occupied time. So customers that are doing nothing while waiting will likely be bored and will observe the passage of time more than. More than when they are doing something, so it feels longer for them. Na maginulat kung wala ay binubuhat. I mean, ano to be? While waiting, itun mga customers na they feel bored while waiting. Of course, it's and it's normal. Next is pre-process waits feel longer than in-process waits. Customers tend to feel that the waiting time seems shorter if they perceive that the service has started. So, kung once na kumato ka na, na-attendiran ka na, syempre, ang waiting time seems to be shorter. Kay, apan ano ni mo, arrival, gin-servihan ka man dayon, gin-ariglar ka man dayon. The next is anxiety makes wait seem longer. So when customers become anxious, they carry with them negative impressions about what they are experiencing. Customers' anxiety may be addressed if they are properly informed on the length of waiting time. So if you are a customer, guess much better if you have knowledge or idea and if you are informed kung gaano ang iya o pera ka para si to kung makadaka barangay hall makuha kang barangay clearance may nakita sinisiring nga charter dito makikita kung pera lang ka ka oras or minutes and service nga dapat ni mo ma dapat ni mo makasabi Citizen, sorry, di pa kita. So some example for this is like a barangay hall. May dakami si ni siring a citizen charter. Ito nga citizen charter at ito dito ang mga pera ka minutes na imo paghulat ngan pag process. Para so ito pala inin maram ka na kon kon may iha ba o mapapadali ang imo waiting time. Next is unexplained waits are longer. Than explained waits. So, customers who are aware of the causes of waiting are usually more patient and less worried. As what I've I've said, mas maupay kung a customer may ada knowledge kon ano ba? Kuto ba ano kung a oras maghihinulat? The next is unfair waits are longer than equitable waits. So, when customers think that they are unfairly attended to. Because other customers who arrive after them have already been served, it will heighten the impression that waiting seems longer. Then we have number six. The more valuable the service, the longer the customer will wait. So customers who are expecting premium services are more tolerant in terms of waiting. Then solo waits feel longer than group waits, of course. You'll be bored if osakala talaga. Pero kung damo ka mo, large number of people na nahulat, it wouldn't be boring. So these are more tolerant to waiting. Of course, chika chika. Then lastly, physical and comfortable waits feel longer than the comfortable waits. Waiting is burdensome when customers are waiting in an. 
in an uncomfortable situation. This discomfort magnifies the feeling of being in line for a long time. 